Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to tie yarn the way I do, right down the river. Easy and simple. This is just some of the stuff that I use, and some of the stuff I'm going to use to demonstrate this. I've never done a tutorial, so bear with me. Alright, here I'm using a number 6 hook. So here's a line, hopefully you can see it. So holding the hook, point up, take the line down through the eye. Then I pull about six or eight inches. It's a tail, I will call it. This will be the tail. So I grab the line my hand and I pinch this hook keeping it pinched I bring the line up and I'm gonna pinch it right here so I have a loop so I'm gonna wrap the line away from myself probably six times so squeezing it with my fingers here the tail that's what it looks like so you have the tail and this loop so I'm gonna take the tail come through the loop grab that access in my hand Pinch the hook. This is your line on this side here, here going towards your rod. I'm going to pull this tight. So it looks like this. You'll have a snell knot. So you can take your nail and hook this. Pull that back. Take your scissors or your clips. Just clip the tail right off so after I slid the snell back on the hook you have this loop so that's what it's gonna look like I know it's probably really hard to see I don't have any bright colored line so now let me grab the yarn So I use like a one inch piece. So I'm gonna take the, the hook, put that yarn through that loop. And I'm gonna pull this side of my line going to my rod right here. I'm gonna pull that tight, grab the hook, take my thumbnail, and push that snell all the way up. So now it looks like you have two wings on both sides of the hook. So now with the point forward, I'm going to take my fingers, these two fingers, and pinch it. So you can see the hook points pointed down. I have probably a quarter inch pinched in my fingers there. I'm going to take my scissors. It's going to trim right around my fingers, kind of a circular motion. Flip the hook over. Just fluff it up a little bit. That's how I tie them right on the river. I can do this in a minute, minute and a half. You break off. You just tie as you need them. Can change the color so I can pop that color out just slide the uh... so here's my I can slide my snell knot down here's my loop I'm 
we get a different color. This time we'll use uh, chartreuse. Just cut an inch off. Open up the, the loop. Center it. Push the snell up. Pull it tight towards the eye of the hook. Hold the line. Going towards the rod in my hand. Put tension on it. Push this back around my fingers. Take my scissors. Cut a circular motion around my fingers. Fluff it up. Sometimes you'll have to trim the front. Now this color right here in the rivers I fish, the walleye actually run with the steelhead in the river. Some of the rivers here in Michigan, some of the rivers coming off the Detroit River. So when you're steelhead fishing, throw on a little lime green or chartreuse, catch you some walleye. So hopefully this is uh, informational to you. Thanks for watching.